Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is January 27th of 2018. And uh, just a little update on what's going on. Today I got this. This is the fourth one of these I've bought. I uh, got the Asus MX279 27-inch monitor. I bought one before. The first one I bought, I, I bought for myself, but my grandson liked it and I gave it to him the day I got it. Then uh, after that I purchased another one and my son liked it. I gave it to him. Then I purchased another one for myself and I've been using it. I've been using it with the widescreen monitor. So I've had the widescreen monitor and I can have you know, two windows or uh, set up in it, browsers open, and then I can have the 27 inch, you know, next to it. And today I, I ordered, well, I ordered it the other day, but I, uh, I got it today. So I have now two 27 inches. Each one of them is, uh, I believe, four feet. So I have eight feet of the desk. I wonder if I can get this camera here. It's not going to do it. Whoops, wrong camera. Hang on. Let's see how this works out. You really can't probably tell, but uh, there it is. Eight feet of monitors, two 27 inch monitors. Um, Lighting is really good in here, and I'm using no in uh, a lights in here. It's just a light coming in the window, and it's uh, about 4.30 p.m. <clears throat> Both of these are uh, Logitech USB uh, cameras, and they work really well in low light. I do have a, well, let's, I just switched cameras, didn't I? Uh, hang on a second. I have an LED umbrella. Whoops. I guess it would help if I... Uh, up there, LED light is not on, of course. And uh, have that up there. And, you know, I really... Uh, if If I'm using the... LED um, if I'm using the Logitech cameras I, I really don't need bright light but I, I guess I should keep it up up there although it I know it's in my way sometimes but so anyway the lighting is really good and these LED, these Logitech cameras work really well USB cameras I've commented on that many times. I'm using uh, Movidia Video Suite Recorder, screen recorder, to do this. And I've got a bunch of programs that I've uh, paid for to do this type of stuff. And I keep switching back and forth. Just wanted to let you know, though, in case you're wondering about, you know, seems like it works really well. I also have Manicam that I use. I never stick with something long enough that I get to know it, you know, really well. Um, by the way, this monitor has built-in speakers that are on the bottom because this has a very little bevel of, on the, uh, it's almost all screen except on the bottom and the speakers are on the bottom. And you know, when you hook it up uh, to HDMI input, and uh, so you have HDM speakers that you can use. There, I don't use speakers that are usually, I don't really crank speakers up, but they're a little bit uh, short on wattage or how much, uh, so I don't normally use them. And I played around in the past and I can't remember the results and I can't remember why I stopped doing it. 
since now since since I've got eight foot of speakers, <laughs> there's you know the one speaker is over here, four foot from the center, say, and the other speaker is over there, four way down there. I it would be difficult to reach down with the keyboard, though I can you know adjust the volume. Um, what I did in the past, and I can't, I should keep a, I used to do that back in the BBS days. I'd keep a notebook and I'd write down when I did something so that I wouldn't go around and do it again. Or if I did, I'd know how I did it. And I stopped doing that. I really should uh, do it. Uh, so I'll probably play with that later. I'm going to take the well, let's see. Now, with two speakers, what's going to happen? With two HD, if I turn on the, yeah, forgot about that. With two HDMI speakers that both have speakers in them, what will happen? Anyway, I'm thinking of, I'm going to take the video and this is a sound blaster uh, speaker. And it has microphones in it and has, I won't be using the microphones though, you know, has an array of microphones, has an array of speakers. And so it could be right in the middle here. So I think what I'm going to do is take the HDMI that, and when it goes into the monitor, I'll come out and go into the, you know, input. And I have already the software installed because I was using this, have the software installed. So I think I'll give that a try and see, uh, see how that works. Uh, I need to settle down in one of these programs and get it. And then, then I can learn how to uh, do the best thing. Manicam, I don't know why, it produces excellent video, like screen capture like we have now. And the file is very small. But the problem is, and I need, maybe I can find a way to get around that. Uh, it's an AVI file, I believe. And when I upload it, it's a very small file. But if I want to splice something together, I have to use, you know, my video editor programs. And then when I export it to, you know, join the video parts together that I put in there, then it exports them at a massive file size, you know, talking about gigabyte or gig and a half a byte or more. And, uh, so I don't know, but I should keep track of, of, uh, this by the way, is showing me how big the file is here using Movidia video recorder screen. And so far I have been talking for almost nine minutes and this file size is a, a 420 megabytes in size. So what else did I want to tell you? Uh, I haven't done a review on this yet, but we use a lot of ice here and, uh, you know, we don't have an ice box that has an automatic ice maker. So we have to have ice or had to have ice cube trays and then you got to, you know, twist them apart. And I usually drop a couple on the floor. And so I went ahead and purchased this and it's working out well. Now you do have to put water in it. So the water gets down occasionally. You have to put water in it. But when the ice cube tray fills with ice, it, uh, you know, shuts down. Now the only thing is that the ice in the little basket in there, if it, when it gets full, you know, that turns off and the 
this thing is not like a, a, a freezer or a refrigerator. Uh, it doesn't keep the ice frozen. So the ice starts to, you know, the ice starts to melt. But then it drains down into your water, you know. So, but anyway, it's much, much better. Um, so I'll, I'll probably do a review on it. Here's the basket. Here's the controls. If the basket gets filled, it shuts off. If, and of course it flashes to let you know. And if you run out of, if the water gets low, it sh uh, shuts off and lets you know that the water level is, you know. So. So I'll probably do a review on that. I'm not sure if I'll put the review on here on YouTube or if I'll just review it on. I've got a lot of reviews on Amazon. By the way, let me show you. Just because I want to be as helpful as I can. Um, today I just made, uh, let's see, payment history. Just made, I think it was $35 that went into my account. $34.38 uh, today. And that's for links. I try to, when I talk about a product, try to put the link to it that goes to Amazon. And I get a commission, not a very big commission, as you can see. Uh, this month I made $34.38. Uh, Last month I made um, 1624. The month before that two dollars and eighty one cents. The month before that twenty five seventy seven. Let's see what's the most. Uh, here I made thirty nine sixty seven. Thirty down here thirty eight twenty seven. Twenty nine. Uh, you can see it goes all the way back to 2009. You can, um, let's see, also, also by the way, if, and I should put that link, if you go here, no, not here. Oh, okay, here it is. If you, I put some items on here. I, may, I make a little comment occasionally about the uh, items. If you go there and you purchase one, I, I get a commission, of course. Um, now, not all of these items, are, well, a bunch of them are things that I'm interested in or that I think are really good. Like I have, I have the... Uh, uh, FZ 300 camera. Um, this item here, I was a nice item. I see it's no longer available. I did purchase that. I'm thinking about purchasing uh, this uh, computer, but I can't make my mind. I might purchase this one. Uh, I have not purchased the FZ 80. It has a 60x zoom. I'm sure I won't be purchasing it because I already have, uh, this is a GX7. This is the most recent one that I purchased. And uh, this is a monitor I was thinking about, but I just went ahead and did not, this is because it's a 4K monitor. I don't really need a 4K monitor. This Razer phone is a hell of a, uh, cell phone by the Razer people. Um, it's just too much money. I'm not going to be purchased. I would like to. I don't really need it. I don't know. But I just like the, the functionality of it and the size and the uh, super fast and everything. This solar charger over here is... I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, I did purchase this, and uh, and I never. I have a bunch of stuff like that, and I just love the idea of solar cells, and I. I just don't use up batteries that much, and I don't. But I always think that I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to need that, and I never really need it, but. I just like the idea. Of course, you can charge it. You don't have to depend on the uh, sunlight or solar energy. Uh, and actually, so far as I don't think I've seen any yet that uh, that's okay for having it in case you have a big, you know, power outage and you're out with without power. And, but the solar cells, for the number you have and for their efficiency and all that type of stuff, just don't come up to snuff, you know, not for, on top of your house, yeah, uh, you can do that, but so far as a little thing you can slip in your pocket that's going to keep you, you know, but you can charge it up, of course, by plugging into electricity or USB or whatever. And I, th this is supposed to be really uh, terrific speakers but i with my hearing i'm not going to spend that much on speakers i don't think but i want to put it in there in case somebody's looking for some really good really good speakers there's a url if you want to it's amazon.com slash shop slash h n b b s so um I think that's it. Did I say, oh no, it was the ice maker. I, well, I'm not sure. I've purchased now four of these and I don't think I've reviewed the, uh, haven't removed, removed, re reviewed the monitor yet. Uh, I don't know if I will or not. I'm not, or not, did I say speakers? Monitor, I think. Uh, speakers, I'm not really good at that. I have pretty bad, pretty bad hearing loss, and I'm not somebody who should be judging speakers. And the same with monitors. I really don't know uh, WQHD, 4K UHD, uh, what's, you know, the speed of the refreshing of the screen and all that type of stuff. Uh, by the way, I see down here that the speakers are uh, on this uh, are th stereo and they're three watt speakers. It says with five watt times two amplifier. Well, five watt, and you know, it gets boosted up to five watts. So I'll probably be playing with the Although it is almost 5 p.m., uh, probably time for me to take a nap. By the way, if you've been watching my videos, I forgot already. Let's see. I've told you a few times that uh, in March I'm going to be, I've been telling you that I'm going to be 78 years old. And I am actually, I think, going to be 77 years old. I can't remember how old I am. And this happens seems like just about every uh, time I'll be telling you a year later. I was born in 1941. I looked up, uh, you can do a search on Google. I looked up a thing, you know, for your finding your age. And then that site had uh, what day of the week you were born, what day of the week it was. Uh, what news happened that day, what news happened that month, and uh, whatever your birthday is, prominent people who were also born on that day, and then great things that ha or things that happened throughout history on that day, stuff like that. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I really do, I've been using these Logitech cameras for years. Uh, been using USB, well, 
the first camera was actually not a USB. It was a parallel port. It was like, you know, like that you had to hook it to a parallel port at port, port RS-232 port. And uh, it was black and white. And uh, the cameras have come a long ways. Uh, I've been watching uh, a guy who uh, actually watches these videos and I watch his videos because he because they're interesting and uh, he has a 360 not an expensive one and they're not really expensive although you can pay you know he has a 360 degree uh, camera and it's pretty neat he just makes a video or it could be live streaming but he just makes the video and then when you you've probably seen him on YouTube you just go there and you're seeing the video and then you put your mouse on the screen and you can look look around there's a I haven't watched her videos in a while for some why I should there's a very attractive young lady in China and she lives and works in uh, one of the big cities that's major producer of uh, Chinese electronics, which all ends up over here. Uh, and she has one of those. And she wears a bikini that barely covers anything. And she walks through the streets of uh, China, walking and talking and doing her thing. And she knows technology too. She, uh, but anyway, I've, I've, <laughs> And she does the three six. I'm not sure if she always does it or not, but you can watch her, you know, going, and then you can rotate the camera, or you know, or not the camera. You're not, but you know, look in the video, and you can see people looking at her when she goes by, and men looking at her when she goes by, and that type of stuff. And she goes uh, right into. Uh, malls a shopping mall and the shopping mall will be like our shopping malls in a lot of ways but it, you go there and there'll be little booths like you'd go someplace like if our mall you might go someplace and there'd be a jc penny or sears or something like that and you go in and they own the entire quarter of the mall section or whatever and you go in there but it looks like there you go in and everything is kind of looks like an independent booth in there and there's people electronic stuff everybody has electronic stuff selling it and oh too there's a, a counterfeit everything you don't know and then i watched a couple videos by people how to tell if some if a product is legit or not but uh, and then somebody else that I saw, he he went in. He's in China also, and uh, he's from. He's been there for years, and he's married to a Chinese woman. But uh, he's from South Africa originally. Um, but he went into a couple. Well, they come out and say, "Hey, do you want a Rolex?" <laughs> and uh, you go in, and they. They don't really, you know, they'll let you know, okay, you know, here's a Rolex. And they let you know it's not really a Rolex, you know. Well, they might try to, but it's not really. And then he was talking to him. okay, well, how, how can I get, you know, how much, you know. And then, too, they just keep making him, you know, prices, you know, prices lower and lower. And I, I don't, I, I, I'm not used to that kind of, uh, somebody tell me if something's a price, I'll pay the price, you know, so. I definitely shouldn't go in there, but uh, anyway, these 360 degree cameras are pretty, pretty nice. I wouldn't work out here and I never get out going, you know, going any place or whatever. I don't own a car. Uh, I used to bicycle in the past. I was even worked security and I was a bicycle patrol officer for a while. There was only, uh, two of us, the other guy, and, and when I did it, I was, 
uh, my late fifties, I think. And I came in every day and went out no matter what the weather was and did the bike patrol. And the other guy was like 25 or less. And if he came in and if it was raining or snowing or doing anything, he just took out one of the unmarked cars and drove up in the parking lot and took out a magazine and read it for the entire shift. So I probably might have still been working there, but when they did my merit review, I worked for the all together. Oh, was it 18 years? Yeah, I think 18 years altogether for them. Although I worked at different locations. But I'd reached the top of my pay scale a long time before. So every time I got a merit review, you know, it was, oh, you do, you do really great, you know, but we can't give you any more money. But when they did the, they, the word had gone out that, uh, because I had just started the bike patrol thing, really, that before that there was two young guys. One went on to be a police officer. And uh, so they'd made the decision really before that only, they'd only have bike patrol during the uh, warm weather and during the winter time. Uh, we would go and work at other hospitals, not as bike patrol officers, just fill in at other hospitals that they, they owned 11 hospitals. And as uh, soon as I heard that, I knew that I was going to just go ahead and take retirement. And so when I got my merit review, the, the guy said, oh, well, you know, you know, uh, we can't give you any more money. You're at the top of your pay scale. And I, he said, maybe next, of course, they always said, maybe next year, you know. I said, well, I won't be here next year. I said, I'm going to go ahead and retire. The guy could hardly contain his, he's in 30 years of hospital security. There's only two or three security officers that I worked with that, that I really couldn't get along with and that I really didn't not, that, that I really didn't like. And maybe not that many, but this was, this one guy, I fucking despised him and he hated my guts. And, uh, he spent, I worked at uh, one, this one small hospital, which was part of this thing. I was out there for, uh, 10 years. And I later I came back for one year, but I worked out there for 10 years. So he was down at the main hospital, a supervisor. And for the 10 years that I was at the small hospital, anybody that he met down at the main hospital or that he saw, he didn't have to know if, you know, I know of two doctors that I, that told me. So there had to be others, you know, two doctors who worked at the hospital that I worked at, the small hospital, ER doctors. And he said, oh, you know, you work at, uh, out there, don't you? At, uh, the hospital, yeah. Oh, well, that Jim Howard out there, I just want to warn you, he's a no good backstabbing, sneaky son of a bitch or whatever. So, and he did that to everybody that that's, he spent his time down there. That's what he, he did. So I let it go on for a couple of years. And then after that, I didn't do it very often, but if his name would come up or something or other, I'd say he's a worthless piece of shit. Shouldn't be a, he wouldn't make a pimple on a guard's ass or whatever. And I did it. We had a new director of security that took over and, uh, he came out to, as soon as he took over, he came out to introduce himself to me and, uh, whatever. And I didn't, I didn't say anything then. And he, he didn't come back. He came back very rarely. Well, after he, then he, then he never came back. <laughs> Um, then he came out one time and then he mentioned this supervisor and I just, uh, I just unloaded, said, I said, you know, you've, uh, you've done great things coming in this department. The other director of security just was here for years and things were terrible. And I said, you've come in and corrected things that need to be corrected and you've done a great job and everything. I, your only failing is that you didn't replace 
Charlie. Uh, I said, I know he's been here, you know, here a long time. I said, but I don't know. You should have just put him in charge of uh, something where there was no, you know, put him in charge of the locker room or something. Put him, in, get him away because he's totally incompetent. And I could just tell that uh, the director of security did not like that. And I can understand because I'm sure that Charlie had told him, you know, I know Charlie would go through and tell everybody, you know, he'd tell him, hey, you know, and I don't know what he told about other guys, but about me, he would have, you know. And uh, so anyway, I'm sure when he came, and then when, when he came out there to finally meet me, or he'd come out there and then he, when he came back, I'm sure me saying that, and I knew that, me saying that, was would not help me you know because it would just play into yeah this guy's a malcontent this guy's a troublemaker this guy's an agitator uh, because i've been called that before at other places um management sometimes they don't want to hear the truth and unfortunately i have a habit of speaking the truth but um, how did I get sidetracked on that subject? I don't know. Okay, this has been 30 minutes. I need to uh, set you free. Let's see. Go with God. Thank you very much for watching.